Hi, I'm Kaylee, and this is my review of Mall Flanders. So I recently read Daniel Defoe's Mall Flanders, and this is quite a picture of Daniel Defoe there with his big fancy wig. <laughs> but before I get into this review, I want to make sure that you know that Books for MKs is a charity that donates books to missionary kids. Today's MK shout out goes out to Hezron, who lives with his family in Cambodia. He's 16 years old and he loves to read Percy Jackson and science fiction and mystery. If you want to donate to Hezron and children like him, you can donate to the Books for MK's charity at GoFundMe.com. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button and on the little bell so you can be notified every time that I post a new video. I have only read one other book by Daniel Defoe, and that was Robinson Crusoe. And I've read this a couple of times over the years and really enjoyed it. So I had high expectations picking up another book by the same author. Daniel Defoe wrote this in 1722, well, published it in 1722, under a pseudonym so that people would think that it was a real life diary journal of an actual woman named Maul Flanders, and that's definitely the way that it's written. The full title is The Fortunes and Misfortunes of the Famous Maul Flanders. So first I'm gonna give you kind of a summary of the plot. Maul Flanders tells the story of her life from her infancy, born in Newgate Prison, where her mother was convicted as a thief, to her young maidenhood and her adulthood as a whore, a con woman, an honest wife and mother, a mistress, a thief, and the worst kind of liar. And that's pretty much it. She, has, she marries several different men, she is a mistress to several different men. She travels to America and then she comes back to England and then she goes back to America again. <laughs> she gets around. <laughs> she is poor for most of the book, so she feels like the only thing she can do to earn a living is to marry someone who is rich. And of course she gets into all kinds of trouble. And she ends up as a thief and a pickpocket and it's just, just on and on and on. I just hated this book from start to finish. I really did. I hated the main character, Maul or Molly, because she is sneaky and conniving and selfish and evil. She is entirely self-centered. She is disgustingly promiscuous. She has several children, all by different men, and she abandons all of her children. She basically just lies to everyone about everything. She has no morals whatsoever. She shows no remorse for her heinous crimes. She is constantly scheming how she can trick people out of their money. She even steals from innocent children. Like, she pickpockets from children on the street. She's just revolting in every way. Now, I guess it's a little bit of a spoiler, but she does repent of her evil ways towards the end of the book and you know, changes her life around and begins to be honest again. But to me, it was like too little too late. Like I already hated her so much. I didn't even care that she was repenting. I was just like, I don't even care. Just please just go away. I did not like the writing style either. In Robinson Crusoe, this dry kind of factual, pragmatic style really works for Robinson Crusoe because it's explaining all the ways that he survived on the island and stuff like that. But this story is so full of emotional upheaval and violence and family drama. The writing really needed a finer touch and deeper explanations of what's going on with the characters. Like it was just very difficult to tell what is going on inside of the characters hearts and their minds. Maul's motivations are rarely explained. She launches into these relationships with men and says that she falls in love with them, but it's never really explained why she falls in love with these men. Like, what did he do that made her fall in love with him? It just says, oh, he was amiable and I fell in love with him and we got married. And it's like, really? He was amiable. Okay, wow, I'm just, I'm feeling it, whatever. The writing is just so bare and plain and it just tells the story in this very, these are the facts kind of way. There are also no chapter breaks 
at all. You flip through, there's no chapters, there's no breaks. It's just paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. It's one long rambling narrative. And after a while, that just gets to be very tiring. The story is also much, much too long. There are at least a hundred pages that are only about her time as a thief. I actually counted. It's from page like 201 to 309. A hundred pages in here. And all it does is talk about her time as a pickpocket and a thief. It just recounts different jobs that she did and how she got away with it and how she was almost caught, but then she escaped and how she fooled people and conned them and how much loot she got. I mean, really, I didn't need a hundred pages of that. The plot completely stagnates. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just a hundred pages of thievery. I'm just, I'm just so not happy with this book. Ugh. I don't even know what to write, to, what to rate it. I mean, I guess I kind of want to rate it two stars, but I just, I don't know. I feel like maybe I should rate it three stars because there were good, some good places in there but I just got so frustrated and annoyed with so much of it. I just, I, I feel like I can't even rate it. I don't know. Anyway, Mall Flanders, that was that. Please leave me a comment and let me know, have you ever been reading a book and it just went on forever and the plot just got stuck somewhere and did not go anywhere? Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and remember, the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.